Assalamu alaikum dear students I am Dr Shahjabeen and today we are going to start a new interesting topic immunity These are the objectives of this lecture at the end of the lecture you would be able to define immunity you will know the classification of immunity and you would be able to discuss innate and adaptive immunity with its example and type the word immunity means protection or resistance and the ability of the body to confer the protection or resistance against pathogens like bacteria viruses fungi helminths and their toxins is known as immunity as you know we are exposed to a lot of pathogens around us and these can cause serious diseases or prove to be lethal if our body loses this capability and this immunity is achieved by a whole system that is known as immune system this slide shows the key functions of immune system this system not only combat against the invading pathogens but it plays a crucial role in removing worn out cells what are worn out cells these are the cells or tissue that are damaged by trauma or disease in this way the system paves the way for the wound healing and tissue repair the system also identify and destroy mutant cells what are mutant cells these are the abnormal or malfunction cells that have originated in the body this mechanism is known as immune surveillance and it is the primary internal defense mechanism against cancer beside this the system also evokes some inappropriate immune immune response like allergy which occur when the body turns against a normally harmless environmental chemical entity or it can cause autoimmune diseases which happen when the defense system erroneously produces antibodies against a particular type of the body's own cells this slide shows the classification of immunity and this classification is based upon their mode of action and the mechanism let me tell you one thing all of these types work together and are interdependent as you can see the immunity is mainly divided into acquired immunity and innate immunity in as the name says the innate immunity is inborn it is naturally present from birth while the acquired immunity is adapted after birth during the whole lifetime acquired immunity is further divided into cell mediated immunity and humoral immunity humor means body fluid this immunity or this immune response is produced by b lymphocytes that produce antibodies in the blood that is why it is also known as antibody mediated immunity come to cell mediated immunity it is cell dependent and the cell is t lymphocytes that attack and kill the whole infected cell now the first type of immunity innate immunity it is also known as natural immunity it is inborn inherent or built in from birth and it comes to play immediately after an exposure to a threatening agent it is due to genetic and constitutional makeup of an individual and it is present in all the individuals as same natural immunity except some of the racial or genetic differences it is non specific that is this mechanism non selectively defend against foreign invaders or pathogens of any type even on initial or first exposure it does not require any antigen to be activated 
Here are the examples or component of innate immunity. These include skin and mucous membrane, their secretions, phagocytic cells, neutrophils, eosinophils, macrophages, and antimicrobial proteins, and the tissue response, tissue inflammatory response. The first mechanical barrier against invading microorganism is provided by the intact skin and mucosa of the body. Skin is the largest organ of the body. Besides providing physical barrier, the keratinized stratum corneum of the epidermis protects against toxic chemicals. Beta defensins in the skin are microbicidal. The sebaceous gland contain sebum that has both saturated and unsaturated fatty acids that kill many bacteria and fungi. The sweat is slightly acidic. The pH is around 5.5 and it, and it is also protective against microbes. The cilia and the mucus also restrict the entry of microbes into the body. The second component of innate immunity include surface secretions. We have already discussed about sweat and the sebaceous gland. Saliva that is present in the oral cavity has an inhibitory effect to many microorganisms. It has lysozyme, lactoferrin, histatin, proline-rich proteins. All of these are bactericidal in action. The gastric juice is highly acidic and can hydrolyze microbial invaders. Tears. Tears not only washes the particles but also possess hydrolytic enzymes that can destroy most of the microorganisms. The third component of the innate immunity is cellular. It includes neutrophils, monocyte, macrophages, the tissue resident of monocytes and eosinophils that have a special enzyme against larva of helminths. All of these phagocytic cells are non-specific. Let's have a quick review of phagocytosis by these non-specific cellular component of the innate immunity. Whenever a microbe adheres to the phagocyte, for example, a macrophage. It non-specifically extends its pseudopods and form a phagosome. This phagosome will fuse with the lysosome forming a phagolysosome. And the enzymes from the lysosome will kill it. You can see it. It has been killed and converted into residual body. At the end, this residual material is removed out of the cell through exocytosis. Another important cellular component of innate immunity is natural killer cells. They are also known as large granular lymphocytes. You have done the lymphocytes, seems to be lymphocytes. We used to say that these are the subpopulation of lymphocyte. But there is a difference between lymphocyte and natural killer cells. The natural killer cells are non-specific against virus infected cells or tumor cells or cancerous cells. While the lymphocytes are very specific and they are activated by the antigens. While the natural killer cells or NK cells are activated by the lymphocytes, more specifically helper lymphocytes, helper T cells. Now the fourth component of innate immunity include antimicrobial proteins that are non-specific proteins present in the body fluids. Like lysozyme, it is found in high concentration in most of the tissue fluid. It contains Mutolytic enzyme which kills microorganisms by splitting sugars of the structural mucopeptide of their cell wall. 
another one is basic polypeptide proteins these are non specific microbicidal proteins that react against some of the positive bacteria gram positive bacteria like staphylococcus aureus and staphylococcus pneumoniae they include leukins arginine and lysine containing proteins protamine and histones complements protein are a collectively 20 proteins that are present in the blood and they have a whole system a cascade like system that attack the microbe and and kill it by cellular lysis we will do the complement system and we will do it in detail in a whole lecture and the last one are interferons interferons are antiviral substances that limit or inhibit the replication of virus and they are secreted by the cells that have been stimulated by live or killed viruses the last example of the innate immunity is the tissue inflammatory response that you have done it in detail in wbc section let's have a quick review in the first picture you can see whenever there is a breach in the intact skin there is an entry of pathogen and the tissue macrophages will combat with this pathogen initially and when after the release of the histamine from the mast cell there would be increased local blood flow that will bring more leukocyte like neutrophils to the area along with the plasma protein like clotting factors that will seal the area and restrict further spread of the infection in the last picture you can see all the non specific phagocytic cells have consumed the pathogen and have converted it into cell debris now this slide shows another main division of the immunity that is acquired immunity the acquired immunity is also known as adaptive immunity as it is adapted after birth during the whole lifetime it is initiated by the antigen and it is selective adaptive response against antigen specific target or microbe it includes antibody mediated and cell mediated immunity cell mediated type of acquired immunity involves the activities of activated T cells. You know there are two types of T cells: B, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Here, the T cell specializes. T lymphocytes specializes in recognizing and destroying body cells that have been infected by virus, cancer, fungi, parasites, or even against the foreign cells from transplants. Humoral type of acquired immunity involves B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes secrete antibodies in the blood, in the humor, and the B, B lymphocytes recognize free existing foreign invaders such as bacteria, bacterial toxins, and some of the viruses, and combat by secreting antibodies specific for these invaders that is why it is also known as antibody mediated immunity dear students in the end this slide shows how all of these types of immunity work together in integration when any of the invader organism come in contact with us our first line of defense and second line of defense is non specific that is innate immunity while the third line of defense is specific and acquired immunity our first line of defense are non specific naturally present 
barrier like skin and mucous membrane and their secretions they are like barbed wires that surrounds any of the prohibited area our second line of defense are non specific phagocytic white blood cells neutrophil eosinophils natural killer cells macrophages and they are like untrained soldiers on patrol ready to attack the enemies or invaders along with the antimicrobial proteins and the tissue inflammatory response our third line of defense is acquired immunity and they are like elite trained units of cell mediated and humoral immunity that is that will combat against invaders in a specific specialized way thank you students this is my email address for the queries and the book for reference